Hey, good afternoon. This is uh, Bob with Controls Incorporated. Uh, it's been a while since we've done any videos. Uh, we're taking this opportunity uh, with the COVID-19 to uh, try to get some more information out there and uh, help educate everybody on what we've been doing for the past couple of years. Uh, in front of you is the MX uh, control panel. It's uh, specifically the MX62500 AS. It's packaged in an 8 by 6 by 4 polycarbonate enclosure, uh, tinted hinged lid, latched and lockable. Inside, you'll find the MX500 display, uh, key switch, which is uh, serves as an on-off uh, switch for the unit, and the graphical display with the four color corners. Um, to indicate different modes of operation or levels of alarm. Um, this particular one you see an antenna on, has a telemetry package inside. We'll talk more on that in a later video. The MX itself, let's see if I can get a little closer here, <clears throat> provides a nice graphical representation of all your critical engine parameters. Uh, we've got an RPM gauge oil pressure, coolant temperature, battery voltage, fuel level, and in this case engine load and operating hours. The uh, display uh, can support eight parameters each and there's actually three displays that you can cycle through to display additional information. So in this case we have a main screen, uh, display A, display B, we're using uh, some dial representations of the major engine parameters, oil pressure, temperature, fuel level, and RPM. And in this page is a, an auxiliary page where we can display things like inlet uh, water pressure, outlet water pressure, uh, transmission temperature pressures, uh, soot load, depth levels, and then uh, uh, in the pumping world we have a, uh, a pump status screen that shows whether it's filling, draining, and which floats are, are being activated. To, uh, to start the engine using an MX unit, we have uh, a, a run button. Uh, so there's no crank position on the key switch in this particular case. Uh, pressing the run will activate the uh, power to the ECU or fuel solenoid, as well as engage the starter motor. Um, there's automatic starter protection built in, uh, so you cannot continue to crank uh, a, a running engine. Um, once the engine started, uh, you'll see the information come up on the display, and you're able to accelerate, de decelerate the engine primarily using uh, torque speed control commands over the J1939 CAN bus. Um, the MX display is, is also inherently auto start capable, and uh, if uh, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll shut it down here and from the manual operation, and from there we'll just put it into the auto operation. Um, when it's in auto, it's waiting for the remote start criteria, whether that be a, a single contact closure or, or potentially a dual float system. Uh, could come in from a transducer set point, mod bus command, or a CAN bus command for starting and stopping the engine. But the MX will basically just be in its uh, standby mode and will enter a low power mode after several minutes of, of waiting for something to happen. Once it goes into a low power mode, the MX display will, will turn off the OLED display, and you'll see that the red corner light will flash once every 10 seconds. So this just tells you that the MX is in that low power mode for the time. Uh, when the remote start signal comes in, it will come back to life, uh, start the countdown to crank, and uh, bring your engine up and put it online for operation. Uh, it's capable of running uh, several different automatic speed control modes, whether it's uh, a traditional warm up, ramp up, operate speed, cool down to shut down, or you can program it for a, uh, 
uh, targeting a particular uh, set point off of a transducer or, or, or other um, linear type of speed controls. All of our products, whether it's the MX, the C-Series, the MVPs, and the XLs, uh, have cooperative throttle, which means you can also have a, a secondary throttle device um, uh, or secondary display that will coordinate with the main control panel for engine speed control from multiple locations. Uh, we'll get more into that in the TT100 uh, video. There it's entered into the low power mode and you'll see the uh, red light flash there when it gets ready. Um, that's been a lot of information uh, in the video. We'll go into more details in the next. Thank you. Bye-bye.